Well, new tonight at nine, a local pet shop, the target of yet again another animal heist. <laughs> yeah, one of the owners of B&B Pet Stop in Mobile says a $400 ferret is gone. They think they know who took it, though. Mm -hmm. Fox News Shelby Meyer is joining us here in studio for that story. Shelby, just a few months ago, right, a bird was taken from the same store. Yeah, it was, Lenise and Byron. A bird and now a ferret. The locally owned pet store can't seem to catch a break. The owners take pride in leaving their animal cages open so people can pet at their own risk, but they may have to consider locking them up if the thefts don't stop. It's crummy. It happened again. Somebody took off with a $400 ferret at the B&B &B Pet Stop Monday. One of the store's owners, Sally Trufin, says they have some questions for this lady. Yesterday, we had um, an individual come in with their children, which is the worst part of this entire story. And um, they took the children and a shopping cart and a ferret into the restrooms. And only the children, the shopping cart, and the mom came out. Truffin says they contacted Mobile Police to file a report and then posted these surveillance pictures to Facebook. You can see the ferret in this woman's cart as it appears she's pushing it into the restroom. And then in this one, you see the woman has a duffel bag with her. Truffin thinks it could have been used to stow away the ferret. Already, the post has gained a lot of leads into the case, Truffin says. People are indignant that someone would do this to us. I mean, you know, like, luckily, our, our community loves us. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time an animal has been swiped from B&B &B Pet Stop. Just this past May, Fox 10 News reported that a bird napper took off with a $1,000 bird and then returned it. Truffin says they don't want to have to lock up their animals due to what she calls a few bad apples, but they are considering it. We've been in business 42 years, and part of what makes it fun to shop here is that our animals are accessible. We want people to pet our animals. It socializes the animals. It makes it a better pet, you know, so we don't want to have to lock up everything. Well, if you know who the woman is in those surveillance pictures, turn her in to Mobile Police. In the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.